turn now this morning to numerous allegations that have emerged claiming the Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, made false statements to the London Assembly. Now, dubbed the ULES scandal, these claims suggest that the mayor's office intervened in the ultra-low emission zone consultation process after having received the results in advance, skewing those results and re reducing the percentage opposed to the controversial expansion of the zone. Well, GB News has reached out to the mayor's office for comment and they have said this. That the real scandal is that toxic air leads to the death of thousands of Londoners every year, which is why the mayor took the difficult decision to expand the ULES London wide. The mayor made the decision after considering TfL's full final report on the consultation responses. The consultation was not a referendum. However, TfL made a number of modifications to the scheme following feedback received in the consultation. The statement continued that any suggestion that TfL or the mayor has sought to influence the results of the ULES consultation is simply untrue. Well, let's get to the bottom of it now. I'm joined by Gareth Bacon, the Conservative MP for Orpington, former member of the London Assembly. And, and Gareth, uh, just let's run through these accusations in detail first. What is the mayor being accused of specifically? Well, the Sadi Khan has made um, the battle against air pollution his uh, raison d'etre. Uh, it's the thing that he is he's most proud of. And uh, he's also got a problem because Transport for London uh, is suffered financially during the pandemic and he needs to make up uh, the gap. And it turns out the, the GLA Conservatives have published today uh, a dossier that shows uh, in their dossier that the mayor has intentionally, it seems, misled the London Assembly in terms of interventions that he and his office have made on the consultation for this as it was going through. So the mayor had originally said that uh, if there was overwhelming opposition, he wouldn't proceed with it. Um, and under questioning from Conservative Assembly members while the consultation was running, uh, he denied that he had been given anything uh, on the results or that there had been any plan to try to uh, improve the consultation response in his favour. Uh, and it turns out that there were meetings that took place. The GLA Conservatives uh, say they have documents that prove that he was, in fact, informed uh, and that they uh, came up with some proposals in order to try to skew the consultation back their way. A targeted mailing campaign of people more likely to be approving of the ULES um, and the suppression of some of the votes that were coming in from people. I think it was Fair Fuel UK was, was the organisation that was trying to encourage their members to vote and, and they were trying to take those, those figures out. Now that, if that's true, is pretty scandalous um, because consultations have a legal status and this looks an awful lot like predetermination. Uh, and I think at the very least, he's going to have some questions to answer from the Assembly. But I also think this is something that could be referred to the monitoring officer for misconduct in public office, um, if it's true. Uh, it certainly needs to be investigated because people need to have confidence that their mayor is, is playing by the rules, that the mayor is observing the Nolan principles, because this suggests that he may not be.